boats are great until you got to keep dropping money into them because they're not working right so she's still running hot this time we need to change out the thermostat real easy to get into open your cow up once you got your cow unlatched lift this off and then it does like a little shimmy forward almost to get it to unhook up front So the thermostat housing, if you're looking at the back of the engine, come around and you'll see these four bolts. We're gonna take these four bolts out. It's a 13 millimeter socket. Thank God it's not 10 because nobody ever has a 10. So 13 millimeter, we're just gonna pop these off. If somebody painted your housing, you may have to tap the socket onto the bolt. They should come off real easy unless you got some corrosion issues they should pretty much just come right undone for you oh and um if you're doing this yourself which i'm assuming that's why you're watching this video if you buy a new thermostat the aftermarket thermostat at least from emp does not come with a new gasket now, if I pull this apart and this gasket's shot, I'm going to have to go get a new gasket. But talking to the one repair guy at the shop I go to all the time, he said most of the time they're able to reuse gaskets. So I'm hoping that my gasket isn't shot. Nice and easy off. Ever so gently so we don't tear the gasket we're just going to pry that up out just like that so our gasket's good we're going to be able to reuse that thankfully here's the old thermostat here's the new thermostat you can see quite a bit of difference i'm going to say this is probably the original 97 thermostat in it that's my guess anyway now there is a test you can run on these you drop them down in water you heat the water up and you let it heat up with a thermometer in it until it gets to the operating point stamped on the bottom of the thermostat so this one is 120 so between 115 and 125 if i remember right the thermostat should come open now there is this little rubber piece that was over the old thermostat that's not on the new one so just gently remove that rubber piece this is going to help it seal in the housing clean that off with your fingers and we're going to slide that back on the new one so this rubber gasket that goes around the new thermostat matches up with the little indent on the housing. I'm just going to work that down in there ever so gently. And that will hold the thermostat down in place. Like so. And then just reinstall. Just once you get them more or less finger tight in. That one's good. And then we'll go back through and tighten them. Okay, make sure that you're not running any gaps and everything's all matched up before you torque it down. 
and then just torque it down. Don't kill it, just torque it. And again, if I can find the spec specification for the amount of foot-pounds or inch-pounds that it requires, I'll stick it on the screen. And that's it. That's back on. Now we just got to snap the cow back together and take it out for a test run. Now the cost of the OEM part was $28. I don't know the cost on a direct fit Mercury Marine one. Honestly, for this, it didn't matter to me on a 97 engine, so I went with the cheaper one. Now I just gotta wait a day or two until I can get it out on the water and give it a test, and hopefully it doesn't overheat anymore. Thanks for checking out the video. Go check out our other videos on this motor. I know a lot of guys are trying to do their own work right now and save some money, along with the fact that we're in prime boating season, so you're looking at two to four weeks, maybe more, to get it into a shop. This part I ordered on a Wednesday, it came in on a Monday, so yeah. I would still be sitting waiting in line if I wanted the shop to put this in for me. And as you can see, it only took, what, five minutes, if that. If you see us out on the water, say hi. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Catch all our outdoor adventures. We'll see you guys on the next one.